see a whole range of emotions, you know, from, from those who, who are looking to give forgiveness, who, who want, you know, to, to offer forgiveness to those who are just so angry. And, and most of the, the anger that I saw uh, on, on Twitter and on, on Facebook was towards God. They're blaming God. And, and I didn't see not one person blame Satan. Not, not one, at least on the, the people that I follow and, and that follow me, and, you know, they, they didn't blame Satan. And, and I, you know, no matter how you feel, I want you to know it wasn't God's fault. Amen. It wasn't Amen. God's fault. God loves Amen. He loves us all. Yes. Okay? And he especially loves the children. You know, in, in Scripture, the only place where it talks about God hearing someone cry, there was a child, Ishmael, out in the desert. Ishmael, okay, the father of, uh, 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 of the Arab nation, if you will, of, of Islam, and, and it's, he heard that child cry, okay, so the children are very close to, to God's heart, when the, when the disciples try to keep the children away from Jesus, he says, uh, no, no, bring them to me, boys, otherwise you're the ones in trouble, okay, God loves you, okay, and Satan, you know, and, and Satan is the one that caused this yesterday, and, and you know, you hear, well, can we blame it on mental illness, can we, you know, can we just blame it on the spiritual, it's a combination, you see, because we're tri-human beings, we have body, the flesh, we have our mind, which is our soul, okay, and then we have our spirit, the, the spirit man within us, and, and I believe that, that the mind can have a, a mental defect, if you will, which allows the spirit then to be affected, you see, because we can choose to allow God in or keep God out. So I believe we can choose to allow Satan in or keep Satan out, okay? And, and, and the rational mind would push Satan away and keep him out, and it would keep away evil, okay? And, and so we, you know, we need to uh, just pray for these families. We need to pray for the parents. We need to pray for the friends of the families. We need to... We need to we need to forgive. We need to forgive, okay? And, and, and just know that, that God is still on the throne. Yes. He is still in control. Amen. Yeah. Regardless Amen. of what happens, I believe we're in the end days. You know, time, Jesus is coming quickly. And I truly, truly believe that. And the scripture tells us all this stuff's going to happen. And, and worse. That's right. This isn't like the end of it. No. This no. is the beginning right. of the end days, okay? So it's going to get worse before it gets better. But oh, Lord, when it gets better. When Jesus shows up, Hallelujah. oh God, yeah. you know, those children will be reunited with their parents yes, and with their friends and their brothers <laughs> and sisters, and, 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 and I'm telling you, it's, it's going to be such a glorious day, amen? Amen. Okay, let me pray over everyone, and we're going to get right to our to our service today. Uh, the praise and worship team, our, uh, the people sitting up here in the first two rows, they have all been working so hard at, at putting this all together, and uh, after it's all over, we're going to come back and... And uh, we're going to pray and, and do our offerings and all that kind of stuff. But uh, we want you to sit back and we want you to enjoy what's about to take place here. And, and to know that this is the reason for the season. And this is all about Jesus. Like Jesus the baby. Okay, right? and, and, and Father, I thank you, Lord. Lord, I thank you for everyone that's here. Lord, I ask you to, to heal our hearts. Lord, I ask you to, to just bring us all together here in your house today. Let our prayers and let our emotions just flow out, Lord. Yeah. Father, allow us to, to send our prayers from here up to Connecticut to reach all those people who are suffering, to the family of the, the killer. Lord, you know that they're suffering as well. Father, we ask you to Prepare us for this morning, for the message that we're to receive. Open our hearts and open our minds. Let us take in this production today, Lord. Let this serve as our praise and worship to you. Let us come to you on bended knee. Prepare us to meet with you in the throne. Lord. Prepare us to be able to sit on your lap. Lord, for those who are angry at you, we ask that you help heal their hearts as well. That you 
show them the right way, that you show them the light. Lord, allow us to be part of that. I ask this in Jesus' name. Amen. Amen.